What is up, everybody? This is the Wax Man coming to you from Orlando, live in the Wax Cave. Back to the past Wednesday. I am so excited. I honestly have had this box. Not opened it. I don't know if anybody's looked through it. But I didn't, I guess I forgot that it says it's the high series number. So the high numbered series. So this is 1990 high number series. This is the, the uh, 1990 upper deck. So assortment of team logo holograms, cards 701 to 800, newest rookies, traded players. I'm excited. I have not looked up what's in here because I want to be as excited about what could be in here as possible. And then, when we finish, we'll cut to the Wheel of Winners. And I have pack number seven and pack number eight. And we're going to go ahead and pull a winner for the giveaway from the last Back to the Past Wednesday video and we'll let you choose between pack number seven or eight and I'm just excited about this uh, and then when we're done I oh yeah here check it out so I've got this long sleeve shirt on um, I'm in Orlando Florida and so what we do when it's hot out is you know so a lot of us will do this because we got to go work I got to go work out in the yard so I'm gonna wear like a dry fit and go dig a hole <laughs> and put in uh, one of our newest uh, mango trees that uh, has been growing for a while and it's ready to go in the ground and uh, let's see let's check this out let's see what we got in here so this is as far as I've ever gotten and now I'm going to open this up for the first time I don't know if it's in order or whatnot but we're going to take a look at these holograms first looks like the cards might be in order so let's see so the holograms are not the world's greatest. Oh, there we go. So now we can see the, the Rangers. Let's see. We have the Detroit Tigers. Oh, wow. If you put it at the right angle, it looks really cool. Let's see. And here are the Braves. I guess they could have done better with the Braves, but that's awesome. Old school Tomahawk. All right, so those are set those aside. And let's see, are these in numerical order? 799 and 800. They are not. Okay. So let's move this box out of the way because we're going to put them back inside there when we're done. Okay, so let's go through and let's uh, see who we find in here. All right, let's see here. Bill Gullickson, Chris James, Randy Myers, Sam Horn, Juan Samuel, he was a pretty decent player. Brian, Brun, I would say it's Bryn Smith, but I'm sure it's Brian Smith. Kevin Bass, Greg Lefferts, Hubie Brooks, Ron Kittle, Lloyd Mosby, Jeff Hooson, Matt Young, Cecil, Cecil Fielder, he was really good too. Dave Hollins, Paul Sorrento, Billy Joe... Rabadou, or Rabadou, depending on who you talk to. Here's Mark Langston. He was a great prospect back in the mid-'80s. Uh, let's see how he was doing at this point after, uh, was it four years? Six years in the league, He was his ERA was an average of 3.8. Let's see, wins. He had a pretty, you know, a lot of wins and a bunch of losses too, but if you really look at the names, names of the teams, you can understand why. He just, just really didn't have the support. Cause look at his strikeouts. I mean, just crazy numbers. His sixth year, and he already had twelve hundred and fifty-three. Look at those. It's just the problem was he didn't have a good, good hitting support. And then look, they get rid of him, and then who comes after that? Yep. He would have loved to have had Griffey support him, you know. Let's see, Mike Marshall. Let's see, Candy Maldonado, Marty Clary, Billy Hatcher. Here's Keith Hernandez. He was at the toward, coming towards the, I think, the end of his career at this point. Uh, he was at 16 years. Uh, didn't steal a lot of bases, but he still had some, which is kind of cool. Um, not a big home run hitter, but 
he's pretty decent on the hits list. And if you notice, his batting average is pretty decent many different years. And he's averaging 298. You know? So you know he was really good. Oh, look, here's Glenn, Glenn Allen Hill. His uh, son's rookie card is the one everyone's chasing. And look at who's look at this. Here is his rookie card. So we've got Glenn Allen Hill. We'll just put him back here because it's kind of just cool <laughs> to see it, to see Dad there. Rafael Valdez. Oh, here's a Gary Carter. It's part of the set, so unfortunately, Carter kids, I I can't send this one to you. But if I can find another one down the road, I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you. So here's David Segui, Mel Rojas. All right, so let's keep going here. Let's see what else we got in here. Fred Lynn, he was a very good player. Gary Pettis was a decent player too. Pascal Perez, Tony Phillips, Mike Blowers, Dave Parker. He should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't. I just still don't understand why he's not. Here he was in '89, 293. Uh, let's see, 307 home runs. Just not sure why he's not in the Hall of Fame. He won World Series on several different teams. It doesn't make sense to me. Wilson Alvarez. Mickey Pena, Pat Combs, Wayne Edwards, Gary Desar, Desar Let's see here. There's Jim Presley, Stan Belinda, Nick Seski, <clears throat> Alex Sanchez, Sandy Alomar Jr. Nice. This is his uh, second year card. Hall of Famer right there. Definitely want to highlight him. Oh, not uh, Roberto is his brother. But the, the all LMR family, I always uh, enjoy them. Joe, Joe Carter, Howard Farmer, Eric Gunderson, Alex Cole. So before you guys start putting comments, yes, it's Roberto LMR that, that has it because I have his, uh, his baseball that he signed as a Hall of Famer. Mike Benjamin, Oil Can Boy, Tony Pena, Dan Howitt, Delenio Shields. Nice. This is his first year card. It's Rook Rookie. It's Rook Rookie. And this was him after he got brought up, but he hadn't uh, had any experience yet. Dave Winfield, another uh, powerful player back in the day. Let's see, he was only batting at 287, had uh, 357 home runs. He won a few World Series. Mac Noakes, Mark Gardner, Mike Fetters, Hector Villanueva. Joe Kramer, Scott Sanderson, Greg Smith, Carlos Barja, Derek May. Derek May had a lot of a lot of potential back then. This was his rookie card here. Nice. John Burkett. Oh, there we go. A nice uh, 300. Let's do this. That's just because he's a spare card sitting here. Terry Schumpert. A nice uh, 300 win. July 31st, 1990. A nice uh, Nolan Ryan's sixth no-hitter. Wow. 300th win. Sixth no-hitter? Let's see, does it even talk about... It doesn't talk... It doesn't say anything in here. about his 300th win could this be an error card let's put him back here guess we'll have to find out right so rick parker brian bohannon mitch webster jeff reardon lenny webster scott hemmond todd hunley Scott Radinsky, Bill Sampin, Jim Laretz, 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 Sean Boski, Craig Grayback, John Candelaria. He's got a World Series ring. It doesn't show here, but I, I think in. To, I, don't quote me, but I believe. I don't know if I'm getting confused with 1980 or 1979, but I know the Pirates won in 79, and I can't remember if he came on in 79 or 80, but he might have a World Series rings with uh, 
uh, with the Pirates. Um, if the Yankees won an 88, then you've got one there, but we're just talking about the Pirates at this point. Pete O'Brien, Greg Myers, Jim Layana, Jose Nunez, Kevin Burse, Glenn Braggs, Scott Ruskin, Storm Davis. Let's see. Mark Davis. Oh, look at that. Dave Justice. This is his uh, rookie card. Card number 711. Nice. Nice. I believe that's his rookie card here. John Franco, Tom Brunanski, Gerald Perry, Chuck McElroy, Tim Leary, Willie Randolph. He's a great hitter. I enjoyed watching him play. I mean, his numbers aren't going to relate to a, a Hall of Fame career, I don't think. But um, he was definitely very, very well used on every team that he played on. And let's see, Alejandro Peña. Then we've got Rookie Threats. Let's see. 45 days. Fewer than 45 days in the roster. Let's see. Larry Walker. That was a rookie in here. So let's see. Delenio, Shields, Marquise Grissom, and Larry Walker. So what a beautiful card. Uh, Larry Walker, I believe. Uh, didn't he just get in the Hall of Fame, people? I know he was up on the ballot for sure. Jim Gott and the checklist. So not bad. I mean, I I definitely am happy with these cards. You know, picking up the Glen Allen Hill is always kind of cool. Just because you know his son's out there now. Sandy Alomar Jr. Always like I said before, the Alomar family. Dave Justice rookie, or is it his first year? See, I always get confused because. Yeah, I don't. I don't always need to do my research, honestly, people. I just know that regardless, this is an awesome card to pull because this is Dave Justice back in the day. And then if this is an error, because it says in the it talks about his no hitter on the back and on the front, it says 300th win, July 31st, 1990. Which normally these cards would tell you about that time and day, but this is on June 11th. 1990 so this this definitely is not the proper information on the front of the card so i'm just going to automatically put a sleeve on this card and see what comes out of that later so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pause this and we're going to move to the wheel of winners All righty now. So here we are, Wheel of Winners. I have no light behind me. <laughs> but let me see if I can get a little light on this. Any light is better than no light. We'll just take that because the main important light is back here. So let's do this. Let's move this like this. Okay. So... This is everybody that wanted or commented to, uh, which made you eligible for one of these two packs, whether it's card pack number eight or pack seven. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and shuffle this four times. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna go ahead and spin and let's see who is the winner. Well, TCC Baseball. That's awesome. Congratulations, Mike, from the Collector's Corner. Uh, he's uh, got a great channel. I'm looking forward to putting uh, his link in here for you guys. And a surprise to everybody is... Whichever pack Mike picks is his, and then we're going to have one other winner. And let's go ahead and uh, send it. Let's see if we can't go ahead and spin it. Well, I'm going to say that the wheel appears to be rigged <laughs> because whoever it's on 
it seems to go to. That said, I'm not going to stop them from winning because it's fair that in square, I think, they won. I'm not sure why the wheel is doing that. So congratulations to Chris and Mike. Definitely look forward to uh, getting these packages out to you. Let me know. So uh, once uh, TCC knows, then uh, obviously, Chris, I'll go ahead and send you the other one. If you want to go ahead and email me, I'll have all that information in the description below. That said, thank you guys for stopping in. Thank you guys for uh, enjoying the uh, Back to the Past Wednesday, the 1990 Upper Deck High Series numbers. Treat people with respect. Treat people with dignity. Things will go well. Wax is out.